why do I care so much about viruses? Um, one is you have to just have an appreciation for how many there are. So on this planet at any one time, it's estimated, and these are you know, just estimations, and they're probably conservative, there's 10 to the 31 uh, virus particles present. So that's 10 to the exponent 31. What does that number mean, right? And unless you're a physicist or a geologist, you really don't have a clue what that number means. Let me put it into perspective. So viruses are really small, right? And you can fit thousands, up to billions of viruses inside a single cell. Well, if you took that 10 to the 31 particles uh, and laid them lined end to end, uh, it would take you over 200 million light years uh, to go from one end to the other. Uh, that's phenomenal. That's going outside of the Milky Way and I think about three quarters of the way back in. So just in their sheer number, uh, they're totally incredible. Because of that number, and because all viruses require a host to, to replicate in, it's estimated that there's about 10 to the 24th infections per second. That's, what's that number mean? Well, how long do you think the Earth has been around? The Earth has only been around 10 to the 17th seconds. Uh, so uh, we are talking about an enormous number of infections per second occurring on this planet. Well, again, put that into something maybe that we can understand. So in the oceans, where the microbial population makes up about 90% of the living biomass, um, it's estimated that, it, that about 20% of that biomass is of these cells are infected by viruses and killed by viruses every single day. So that means in five days on average, the vast majority of the life in the, plant, uh, life in the oceans uh, is turned over, it's a whole new ball game, um, every five days, uh, just as a consequence of viral infections. And, you know, very few people appreciate what that really means. And these are actually pretty recent um, findings. So it'll spread, you know, throughout the scientific and general community. But these are uh, remarkable uh, numbers. So, you know, to keep discussing this, um, we, you know, we and others believe that viruses um, are major drivers of evolution in the past and, and today. So it's hard to imagine that um, any life you can think of, even us, uh, could be what we are without the uh, without viruses. So, you know, every everyone thinks of viruses as bad. You know, they cause disease, but in reality, viruses are essential um, for us to exist as as humans. And how can I say such things like that? You know, it's and and it really comes from multiple sources. Probably the most uh, obvious one is. You know, over the last you know, 10 years, we've really advanced our technology in how to sequence the genomes of organisms. So now we have the sequence of the human genome, and, and then you know, about 800 other organisms uh, we know about. And every single one of those organisms, when you look at them, a significant number of the genes that make us up are from viruses. Uh, and it can be up to 50% of all the genes that's in an organism are from viruses. And some of us uh, speculate that all genes, everything, was either invented by viruses uh, or at some point had association uh, with viruses. The estimations now, uh, when we look at where are all the genes in the, in the biological world? A vast majority of new genes, uh, we believe, actually are invented uh, by viruses and are introduced into uh, living cells uh, to help them evolve uh, and are the, the drivers of that uh, evolution. So they're the creators, you might say, uh, of biodiversity on this planet.